Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly. Hey, I wanted to just jump in here real quick and just take one or two minutes and explain just a quick workflow tip that I use. And it's basically using export presets in Lightroom. Now, export presets are there basically to allow us to send photos or export photos out and, and for to send them to folders or to do things with those pictures that we do often. So for example, I have a folder in my Dropbox that has my favorites. And so what I do is I've created an export preset that automatically if I see a picture that I really like, I just say export this into my Dropbox favorites folder and it takes off and does that for me. So I just wanna show you real quick how I use it and maybe some of the presets that I use. So if I come right in here in Lightroom and I go to file, you'll see it right underneath the export settings. So you got export, export with previous and export with preset. Now export with preset, you see it has some Lightroom presets, which there's some good ones there, but if you scroll on down to user presets, that's where I have my custom ones set up. So for example, if I see a picture that I want to post on Facebook, I have a preset that basically sizes my picture for Facebook and, and puts it in a place that I can find it real quick. Dropbox favorites, uh, maybe a picture I want to post to Instagram, so I have a preset there that resizes it for Instagram and puts it in a Dropbox so that I can find it, etc. So you can see the presets here. Now it's really easy to set these up, and it's something I highly recommend doing just because it speeds up your workflow. In order to do it, just go to export. And under the export, right here, I can basically choose whatever settings I want to choose. So, you know, if I have, like, let's look at the Dropbox one, for example. So if I see a picture that I really like, and it's going to go into my favorite folder um, on my Dropbox, I basically chose it on my computer. I don't rename it, it's just the same. I have my JPEG, quality 80, resolution 300 PPI. So basically, here's my settings that I have for those favorite pictures. And what I do is, once I've chose those settings, I just come over here to add, Click on add and I can name it whatever I wish. So, um, you know, favorite photo preset, for example, or favorite photos. Let's just do that. I hit create and immediately now I have this new user preset. Now I've ordered by, by number as well as name. That way it's easy for me to find them when I want to find them. But um, right there, guys, then all I have to do is as I'm going through my pictures, let's say I, I look at a picture and I say, oh, you know, I really like this picture here. I want to make sure that I, I can access this later. It's in one of my favorites. All I have to do is go File, Export with Preset, Dropbox Faves, or like the one I just created, Favorite Photos, and it will send it right to that folder. Now, what's nice about having it in my Dropbox is I can access it from any computer anytime. But you can see what's, what's really nice is this is going to speed up your workflow. So if there's constant things that you guys are doing in Lightroom where you're exporting to a certain folder all the time or things like that, then create a preset and it makes it so much easier to be able to just work. And, and let me just show you something real quick. If I come over here and I say file, export with preset, and I click on Dropbox favorites, it doesn't even open my export dialog box. All it does, it comes right up here and it just does it automatically for me. So again, I'm saving steps, I'm saving time, making things a lot quicker. So hopefully this tip was useful and, and if you're not using export presets, you can start using those. So thanks for tuning in guys, take care.